So, today I have taken a little trip to a place called Abu Ghosh and I am at the Benedictine Monastery. Uh, I believe it's also known as the Crusader Church. I've been told by a few people that I should check this place out. This church is about 1200 years old. Abu Ghosh is an Arab village today, but it was Kiryat Yerim back in the biblical times. And from what I understand, Kiryat Yerim is the place mentioned in, I believe, 2 Samuel when the Ark of the Covenant had been captured by the Philistines and had been taken by the Philistines, but they returned it after having some problems. I believe the passage even refers to hemorrhoids. That <laughs> and now, it, uh, now Abu Ghosh is a very friendly Arab village just outside of Jerusalem. And this monastery, the Benedictine Monastery, has been here for more than a thousand years. But of course, it hasn't been a church that entire time. It was built on top of some Roman ruins and we're gonna check it out. We're gonna see what this building behind me here is. I heard there's some really beautiful uh, ancient frescoes and uh, I'm very curious to see what secrets this church holds. Oh, good morning. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thank you. That's good, good. Thank you so much for seeing me. Okay, so I am here with Father Olivier and he is showing us around. And Father, what, what, tell us a little bit about this uh, this church here? Well, uh, there is here an old church. I think it's what, uh, one of the oldest and the most beautiful churches uh, remaining from the Middle Ages in the, in the country. It was built by the Knights of St. John as they thought that here is the place uh, called Emmaus of the Gospel and uh, it's completely original. And wow. This is something very, uh, very special. This building has been abandoned for centuries and most of the, that time it was used as a shelter for the goats and the sheep. So like a, a barn, like a, yes. a stable? Yes, stable, yes, that's right. Okay. And um, only at the end of the 19th century, this building was, the, the, the old building, was uh, given to France by the Ottomans and some Benedict Benedictine monks like us came here for restoring the church. Okay. The church is built on older foundations. In the, the, the crypt of the church is built in a pool, a cistern okay. from the Roman period. And in the center, in the middle of the crypt, mm -hmm. there, is, um, uh, there is a spring. Okay. And wow. uh, so we can understand why this place yeah. has always been the kind of um, or a strategic point on the way from the sea up to Jerusalem okay. because of the... Uh, so people uh, coming from, from Joppa to yes. Jerusalem would yes. pass by this way. Yes. Wow. So see this, you see here, the, the old church, it was built with so big walls. Okay. The walls are at least Two meters forty thick, I think more or less nine feet. Nine feet yeah. thick. Wow. The thickest wall is twelve feet thick. <laughs> and why would they make it so thick? It was built a bit like, like a fortress, and this is a Romanesque okay. style church. So this is the style of the church. Oh, okay. Wow. Yes. And I saw yes. the the is this the the sign of the tenth legion over yes. here? The tenth legion. Yes. The tenth legion fretensis was here. So this legend is one of the legends which that destroyed Jerusalem right. and the temple. It's also the tenth legend which was uh, in Masada. Masada. Oh, also that they're the this yes. is the same legion that put the siege to Masada. Yes. Wow. And the veterans of the tenth legion were involved in agricultural works here yes. in the area. So they needed water. 
uh, and they built uh, many or uh, well, some cisterns see? and this is the outside wall of one of the cisterns oh, okay and the presence of the 10th legion is yeah. maybe one of the reasons why 1000 years afterwards the crusaders thought that here is the place of Emers because ah, okay. in his book Josephus Flavius, the, the Jewish war with the Romans, at the end of the book, Joseph writes that the emperor Vespasianus gave the lands of the Emers to the veterans ah, of the 10th legion okay. at the distance of 60 stages from Jerusalem, which is more or less 12 kilometers. We are here in on one of the main Roman roads leading from Jerusalem to the sea, and there is still a milestone in the garden. See, of this the milestone road. is yeah, still yes, here. The ninth and uh, the, the 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 tenth legion was here. So the Crusaders thought, well, this is the place they built into the Roman poor the crypt okay. and the church above. That's amazing. And now I noticed this sarcophagus over here. Yes, well, this is, well, we don't know, uh, it's from the Crusaders' time. Okay. But we don't know who was buried here. There is no inscriptions, nothing at all. Seriously. Just just that rosette, or is that a cross yes, on there? But, but uh, oh, is that, that's a, is that the St. John's cross that I see? Uh, it's l very, it's look li it's very like. Very similar. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Wow, okay. <laughs> oh, this this is amazing. I love coming to uh, to Israel and exploring these things. And the old churches, there's just something special about these ancient buildings that really have so much to tell about the origins of modern Christianity. But where would you like to, to show me next? Uh, so, well, well, there is the church now. Okay. okay. Yes, well, this is the Romanesque church of Abu Ghosh. It's all original. Wow. This building has never been destroyed, it never collapsed. In the first half of the church, you can see remains of frescoes, mm -hmm. uh, wall paintings from the 12th century as well. And this is something so unique that in the service of the antiquities in Israel, they had abroad as well. Yeah. They asked us for, well, not to add something. So okay, not to, to keep them original. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, and now I've noticed some of the, it looks like some of the faces have been... All the faces have been, well this church was not a church, for centuries has not, it was... A stable. A stable. Yeah. And all the, the, the faces have been scratched off. Okay. Uh, by the people, mm -hmm. the, the Arabs, you know that in the Islam it's forbidden. To, to, to depict a face. Yes, wow. And so for centuries this was a stable. So yes. what we're standing in yes. was yes. animals yes. and these paintings were on the wall and they just, yeah, they just right. yes. wow. Oh that's this is fascinating. And like most so this is would this be the only church that's never been destroyed? Uh, there is another one mm -hmm. uh, in the old city of Jerusalem. Okay. And Saint Anne. Yes. Uh, but it's much more restored. Uh, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre yes. is, but it's a bit different. And uh, there is also um, the old cath cathedral of Ramli, but Ramli, it's not okay. now a mosque. Ah, so, so it's uh, it's converted. Very, yes, it's very yeah. different. So, what makes this church special to you personally? Since I've been a monk, I had always a very, very, a very strong link with the resurrection. Okay. The life, which is stronger than the death. And uh, this church is a church of the resurrection. Yes. And so this is for me very, very important. For people coming to make a pilgrimage to the Holy Land for the first time, what what would you say to invite them? Why should they come here? People, are, uh, many, many groups of pilgrims are coming, mm -hmm. uh, Catholic and non-Catholic, and we say to everyone, "Be welcome." This, uh, well, it's so important. It's important to be here because of the, the site of emails of the gas. Yes. But also, it's important to tell that uh, the community living here, which is a monastic, mm -hmm. uh, contemplative community, our special vocation here 
is to be heartful in this land, the land of the Bible, but also close to the people of the Bible, Jewish people. And we have to realize this in a Muslim Arabic village. Yes. So we have to, well, one of the symbols of the Benedictine order is the word in Latin, Pax, which is peace, peace shalom, salam in Arabic. And so we have to, to tell everyone that peace is possible. This is what the message that we, we, we try to, to give to the people. Christian monks are sometimes singing in this church in, in Hebrew, in a Muslim village wow. in Israel. Well, this can be a symbol. Yes, so many people would think that there's just too many obstacles and yes. that it's not possible, but you're showing and proving right here that it is possible. It is possible. Wow. And we do believe we have to go on this way of the peace, of the, or to give friendship to everyone and not only Christians. We're all God's children. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Thank There's you so much. There's a wonderful much. acoustic here. Do you want me to sing something? Yes, please. If you, if you don't mind, I would love that. All right. Uh, okay. so it will be in, uh, okay. very short in Latin. and It's the beginning of the Psalm of David uh, 51. Okay. Uh, in, but in Latin. All okay. Right. All right. I'm ready. That was amazing. That was, that was very special. Thank you so much. Welcome. And uh, I am here with Father Olivier. We actually met a few years ago yes. at the home of um, yeah. Dan Bahat. And yes. you had invited me then. And I'm finally, finally making it here. And I really, really appreciate it. Um, this is amazing. So come to Israel, come to Abu Ghosh, yes. and come see. Very welcome. Yes, come and see uh, Father Olivier and and if you're as lucky as I am, you'll get to hear him sing in this amazing, beautiful church. That was pretty cool. Man, the frescoes in there are amazing. The artwork, looking at, I don't know, just something really cool about looking at paintings that were made a thousand years ago. Seeing those paintings, thinking about you know, that, those colors, everything that you're seeing there, that was painted more than a thousand years ago. And to think of the, the time and the effort that it took, you know, it's not, you know, they couldn't just go down to the art supply store. The effort that they took to, uh, to make that artwork, to make those paintings and to build this place. That's very cool. And to think that it's lasted all of this time, through all of these centuries, through all of the different battles and rulers. It's, uh, it's very cool. I love history. I love seeing historical places. And I've been told by a lot of people to come here and check it out. And I'm glad I did. I don't know, it's just really, really neat. Today was a very good day. I'm glad that I came to uh, to the Benedictine Monastery in Abu Ghosh. And uh, thank you for joining me on this little adventure. If you like this kind of stuff and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. And stay tuned. Give me a like and uh, we'll see what other adventures we can go on.